What is a scientist after all? It's a catalyst for the truth. I think that's all we are. My first experiments were, how many years ago, 60? I was 19. Look in the middle, look in the middle at 12 o'clock, but just... No, I didn't have any interest in science when I was a young kid. But it's all in your head somewhere. When my sister had leukemia, and when I went up once near the end of her life to visit, I saw research doctors and it was planted in my mind that they're trying to do something beyond what you can do today. If you just do what's today, there will be no tomorrow. You have asked if I enjoy rocking a boat, and I suppose the answer is yes, a bit, yeah. I don't like getting into trouble, but if you could have a little bit of the risk and not the trouble, it's the most fun, you know? When my colleagues and I discovered the first human retrovirus that causes a form of leukemia and fatal neurological disease, the Journal of Virology rejected the paper. more or less told me, Bob, everybody knows it's not real and go away. <laughs> I said, wow. But then it got published in the Proceedings U.S. National Academy of Science. Is that Eureka? No, you don't go out and celebrate. I don't, you know, we expected it someday to get impressed because we knew we were right. The same is true with HIV. My colleagues and I co-discovered HIV as the cause of AIDS and developed the blood test, period. At that point, there was ferocious competition, answering everything to answer about HIV and AIDS, about this virus, the nature of the virus, the proteins of the virus, the gene sequence of the virus, the variability of the virus, the presence of the virus and all the biological fluid and the quantity of it. In high school, I started reading science books. A.J. Cronin, The Citadel, for example. Microbe Hunters also, filled with adventure fantasy and, and truth. My uh, wife actually gave me several of those books. No time. We'll be married 56 years in July. And in most people's life, this is a time to review where you've been, the thoughts of mortality, come through in various ways. No, I would not do it the same way over again, and I don't advise young people to do it the same way. If you have family and a wife, you have an obligation. I didn't need to publish five papers my first year in a lab with no help, alone, with just my hands. That was in, partly neurosis. <laughs> first years at NIH, I was a mass of nerves. Can I make it in science? Can I not make it in science? I was doing a lot of studies of enzymes, and I didn't know anything about that, and I felt that I was uh, way behind these PhDs, the damn PhDs when I was an MD. And it was like I had an epiphany. I said, what in hell am I doing? I'm spending my young career playing to my weakness. How about I play to my strengths? And I start thinking about the biology of blood cells and the thoughts about leukemia. What was I doing the other for? To impress, to be accepted, to show that I could do it. And so I had to change. He is a risk taker, most of the time when it's appropriate. <laughs> right now, I'm in a couple of chancy sets of experiments that are not any part of the main part of the field. And uh, it's not an effort to be an oddball. Frustration is I'm not 20 years old, and I know I'm not going to see a lot of the answers to this. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank thanks. You. You're welcome. Why is he always with the app? Why? Why are you always with the phone? They make fun of a lot of things. But, uh, I don't mean I'm Woody Allen, but I have a similar philosophy, <laughs> I think. The kind. And um, somebody... You know, sometimes it's not good because, you, you know, some people aren't, aren't equipped to handle a teasing joke that you don't mean offense by. <laughs> he's, ha he's having trouble getting funded. So if you have a job for somebody... Say... 
Are there stories about my career that have been misrepresented? Well, quite obviously. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm uh, the poster boy for that. I mean, my God, yeah, we went through some years of hell. No, the record's already quite straight. I mean, there's nobody that pays attention to any such nonsense now. This one, the, the, the upper. Yeah, the lower. These two, but it's oh, going to no. be more exposed. It's too short. Too. Yeah. I, I do think that people have overestimated this and underestimated this. It's a privilege to be able to do what you like, finding something that no one else knows. Only you at that moment in time. That's interesting, you know, and it, it is a reward. It is uh, something a little special, right? And if you're able to know that you impacted human health, would you rather be telling jokes on television as your career? Or, um, I mean, I'm not sure what.